tell us about this this area. What's what's uh, what's what's it about? How long you been here? Like who I've lives been here? here? I've been here for about ten years. Yep. We've got all different nationalities here. We've got Spanish people. Spanish, yeah. We've got um, Aussie people, Turkish, Aboriginal, Samoan. Still mixed, man. It's Everyone like a one. it's like a mix. Mixed potato salad in here. Yeah, huh? yeah, huh? <laughs> it's got like everybody just it's like a fruit salad. We've got all different fruits. Yeah. Um, why is this place called Lego? Look at the houses. They're all joined up like Legos and they're different colours, you know what I mean? Right, okay. That's why everyone calls them Lego. What has been the hardest thing about growing up here? I don't know, you saw the crime and shit here. The crime and shit. <laughs> what? That's that's a problem here, is it? Yeah. So dogs just leave poos everywhere, and yeah. this is one of the problems: is crime and dogs doing poo. That's the <laughs> two biggest problems here in Lego Land. Here we go. This is the fight's happening here. Just look, it's broken out over a stick. See? That's how bad it is here. Fucking just break edges like that over a stick. Wake um, up. Anyway, it's on again. All right, quick cops, let's go. Is your cousin here too, Greg? Yeah, slowly going. Going very slowly. We're about to turn back, I think. They said we've seen Habib. <laughs> and uh, got a big crowd around, who knows? I'm not sure if they recognised uh, what was going on here. No, nope, they're gone. They've gone, we're safe. Okay, we're moving back up. Okay, with the media, like, uh, you have to be careful, obviously, with, uh, they'll report what they want to report. Right. Um, and uh, there you go, there's a nice Mick Jagger impersonation. <laughs> they'll, they'll go for the negative elements. Uh, now, we're beyond empathy, we're trying to do something positive here, um, which would be harder to get the message across. Because, like, them, for them, a positive story is not really interesting for the ge like general population there in the, on the newspaper and on television. Uh, it doesn't make good to they go, oh, well, this is boring. Whereas if there was like some police violence here, the media would jump all over that because people love, like, you know, that sells newspapers. So therefore, bang, they'll be straight, out, straight onto it. Um, so that's some of my experiences, like, this little kid is really aggressive. Um, he's really aggressive. He probably thinks he's a sumo wrestler. Um, I don't know. He's realised how small he is. But, um, that's what the media would jump all over. Like, you know, aggressive little kid, but not worrying about all the good stuff. And there's a lot of good people here, actually. A lot of people actually trying to do positive stuff. Um, but that's, like, for, for the media, that'd be ignored. You know, they're not interested in that because, you know, it doesn't sell newspapers. People don't care. They go, well, so what? So to get the message across, you have to be different in the media. You've got to give them an interesting angle. You have to find a, a unique, different angle to get your message across. <laughs> yeah, I did, I did a show, I did a theatre show called um, Lord of the Kebabs of Fellowship of the Hummus. Uh, very successful show in, in the city of Melbourne. Now, we did this for quite a while, like there was thousands of people that came and saw it. Eventually, um, we, we did all our advertising we, and we brought the show back. Now, to bring the show back, we thought, what, what can we say? Like, you know, if we just did the same thing, that'd be, that's the, oh, look, we've done that story already before. So we, what we said was outside of the theatre, we gave a free kebab to every person that came. So we set up these kebab stands outside of the theatre. These guys were doing all the kebabs and all the media came, they got some free kebabs. All the people that bought tickets have got free kebabs. So it was actually a different angle and the media jumped all over it. They thought it was really, they got free kebabs at the Lord of the Kebabs. And so it became a different angle. Um, and from that, we got a lot of publicity out of it. So they loved it because you know, it was unique. We didn't say, hey, we're back, come and see the show again. We said, no, we're doing this, something different. So. You can just find a unique angle, they jump all over it. And so even the press will turn up if there's a big pee. The press always turns up when there's freebies. They're the kings of freebies. Anything free, they'll be there. They're like vultures. And if you do something different, you stand out in their head. So they say, oh yeah, that, I remember that guy was showback. show Because you remember, the media is doing stories all the time. So now what's, what's going to make your story different to the next person's? So that's what you can think about. And little show bags and things and unique launches, they all help. So this guy's a dragon supporter right here. He lives in the area. He wants to be on camera. Um, he's on camera. That's it. <laughs>